everyone and welcome back to Premiere Gal. If you guys are new here, consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell so you're notified when I make new video editing and production tutorials every week. So in this video, you're going to learn how to edit to the beat of music the fastest way in Premiere Pro. So music, if you're editing a music video, this is a great tutorial for you guys to follow. But if you're an independent filmmaker or a YouTuber, it's, it's hard to find good quality music online for a good price. But I use Soundstripe, and I've mentioned Soundstripe in several of my videos because they're awesome. They have affordable music for unlimited licenses. So for $15 per month, you can get unlimited music licenses for your video for both personal and for commercial. And you can get 10% off with my code GAL10. So what we're going to do is actually play some Soundstripe music, and I'm gonna show you how to identify the music using air drums as well as clapping. Now, I have no musical background. I played piano for like a little bit when I was young, and I played rock band with my brother when I was a teenager using like those fake drum pads or whatever. So first, let's cue up some music. All right, so now that we're all warmed up and we're feeling the groove, we're gonna go into Premiere Pro and instead of clapping or air drumming, we're going to identify the beats by pressing the M marker on the keyboard. So let's jump in. All right, so here in Premiere Pro, I have my music track in my timeline and I have the audio waveform visualized here on the track layer. If you do not see this, just go to the wrench tool and select show audio waveform and it will come on. It's just easier to see the beats this way. So that way, if you need to make edits to your markers, you can easily do that and align them with the waveforms. So there are many ways that you can select markers. You can do sort of the upbeat on the snare drum in this particular track, or you can do the underbeat in the bass drum. So I'm going to set markers at the base. So I'm just going to play it back and then hit M on my keyboard and make sure that you have the sequence selected, not the clip selected, because otherwise the markers will appear on the clip if you have the clip selected. So select the sequence and let's start. So you guys get the idea here. I basically hit the M key just like we were doing before. Rather than clapping, I just hit the M key on my keyboard. So the next step is you may think, oh, I have to edit all of these video clips that I have here for my project and manually edit them. No, you can actually automate these to automatically be set at these markers in the order that you select. So to do that, just double click on a bin. I'd recommend putting all of your video clips into a bin folder here. I'm going to double click to open that up. And then you can arrange the clips visually if you select the icon view. So you can also have a list view, but it's much easier to work with the icon view. So here you can actually select in and out points, where you want the clip to start if you want. I don't have a preference for this clip here and I do want this clip to be next, but I want it to be at when the wing is fully shown. So what I'm going to do is double click and I'm going to make sure to set an end point here and the out point here, okay? And then same thing, I want to move this clip to be first so you can reorder these in the order that you want. Another clip that I want to add in and out points are is here when the sand is shown. So I'm gonna double click here I don't want this part here. I want the hand already in the view. I'm gonna hit I for the endpoint there. And then the end of the clip is fine. It'll automatically create a cut at the next beat anyway. So you don't actually need to set an out point. So then the next step is to scrub the playhead back to the beginning. And I'm going to have one marker here. I'm gonna press M at the beginning here. And the reason why I did that is because I want the clips to start at the very beginning and then cut at each marker after that. So let's go ahead back to the bin, hit Command A on a Mac or Control A on a PC to select all of them. Then hit this 
button automate to sequence and from ordering, we want to choose selection order. While we already sorted them, we also selected them. So make sure to have selection order. And then in terms of placement, we want each clip to be placed at each beat marker that we created, which is an unnumbered marker. We don't want it to be sequentially. We just want it to be at unnumbered marker because it's already going to go in the selection order that we've chosen. And we want to have clip in and out points selected. So if you selected any in and out points like I did here, you want to make sure that this is on. If you did not select any in and out points here, no worries, but having this selected is not going to affect it. And then if any of your clips here also have audio, you can see this little audio icon. This means that there's audio with that video clip. If you do not want this audio to be dragged into the timeline when you do this process, just select ignore audio, then hit OK, and it automatically created a cut here at each clip. You can see at each marker, there's an edit point. So let me play it back and you can see that it edits to the underbeat that I selected. See, it's pretty awesome. So this is a great way to start your music videos or video montages. And from here, then you can add your text, effects, and overlays. And it's just a quick way to get the process started. If you're still really struggling with creating beat markers, you're just not musically talented and you cannot do it, there is a plugin that you can get and it's called Beat Edit by Mama World. It does cost $99, but what it does is it automatically generates the beats for you and creates markers and puts them in your timeline for you. So that way you don't have to identify the beats with the markers. So this is an alternative for people that just really can't get the beat down. So this is the quickest way to edit to the beat of the music. And I encourage you guys to have fun with it and don't be shy about your music skills. You will get it down. But if you feel like you just can't get the beats, you can always use the beat edit plugin that I suggested in the tutorial. So I encourage you guys to check out Soundstripe using my code GAL10 to get 10% off of unlimited music for all of your video, which is awesome. And be sure to enter my latest giveaway as well as join the Premier Gal Patreon community at patreon.com slash Premier Gal. That's it for this week and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.